a sign of the times? Well, this isn't something that you see every day. This blood rainbow, it is a very unique situation here. This was caught in the skies of Calgary, Canada, as a woman was trying to catch some really good sunset pictures. And then she caught this. Now, normally, you see your greens, your yellows, your blues, and everything else inside of a rainbow. They're saying, in this instance, all the stuff in the air that creates all the other colors was dissipated. They say that this was the only color available. All the other colors of the rainbow had been scattered away by air molecules and dust particles in front of this low-hanging sun. So when all these things come together just right, you get these anomalies or things that are rarely seen. Here recently, we witnessed what some were saying was five suns in the sky. It wasn't five suns. They were a bunch of sun dogs, but they were in a very, very rare form where there were, there were four sun dogs around a central sun creating five glowing objects in the sky. And once again, this had a lot to do with what was in the upper atmosphere, ice crystals, molecules, and all that to give off that effect. So, a lot of weird things happening, you can say that. I'll leave a link and I'll continue to update. Follow me on DLive for more. Till next time, Spadabu 7, Eyes to the Skies. I own an online Amazon store that runs itself and spends most of my time doing what I love with who I love. And now, it's your turn. If you're like me, you love the thought of having a... Shalom, Yasha'Allah, this is your brother Abaya, Yasha'Allah. Uh, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. Do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to the elders of Yasha Allah. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we can know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwathim that's keeping the faith and the work stay strong. Just a few precepts. As to what we just witnessed, signs in the in, in the skies. It's the book of Luke, chapter twenty-one, and verse twenty-four. It says, "And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, meaning us, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled." We have entered close to that time, if not in it. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. That's what's going on right now. We just seen a rainbow, man, a, a very uncommon rainbow that had red, <laughs> it was a red rainbow, man. All right, let me, let me show you the significance of that, as well as what we just read, All right? This is the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, and verse 6. It says, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. So that's what the deal was with Noah and his sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, right? They escaped the flood. The first flood was with water and the most, I made a covenant with uh, our forefather and told him that it wouldn't happen by water anymore. And that's what the rainbow is about. I know these heathen nations have taken the rainbow and, and made it blasphemous, but the rainbow is a covenant between us and the Most High, that the earth that we we uh, abide in won't be destroyed by water. Verse seven says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. 
man, the most high speaking to us, and we need to listen, repent, and come back to our Father through faith in Yahweh Shai. Right, with that, Shalom, Yashallah, all praise, honor, and glory to the most high Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Yashallah. Uh, shout out to the Akim and the Akwathi and just keeping the faith and the work. Shalom.